Hey guys, remember in the other video when I said something about um, not dressing up for you guys and so you basically know what you would be getting if you were in a relationship with me? Well, this is literally, I just got out of bed. I just woke up like 10 minutes ago and now I'm in the car. I'm wearing the same thing I was wearing in the last video except that I have actual pants on instead of those yoga gaucho things. Um, yeah. I don't know. I feel tired. Do I look tired? This is what I look like when I first wake up. And before anyone asks, no, I did not brush or comb my hair. I slept with it untied like this and I, I literally just got out of bed and changed my pants and now I'm in the car. Mom and I are going to see Maria and her husband at the Around the House store, which you have seen in my vlogs a couple times before. It's the little Italian couple with the crazy, cluttered, a little bit of everything shop. So that should be fun. So we just arrived at the store and mom and I wanted to count our cash and somehow we have the exact same amount of cash in yep. different forms. But you have a 20, I have a 10, a 5, and a bunch of singles. I look like a hooker. But we both have $20 in cash. <laughs> okay, time to go. Aaron Carter poster up there. Maria! Paisana, Kepa! Oh! That one you couldn't use. Oh, this is Luca. <laughs> you remember my daughter, Cara? Yeah, oh, my God. Cara Maria! Hey, there he is! Hey, don't you feed her? <laughs> I do. Trust yeah. me. My dad's Trust me. good for you. so funny. Good I'm for you. I'm sure Thank I wouldn't you. feed her like, like you do. <laughs> no. Bye! He's not playing a course. Good. I'm sometimes really bad at vlogging, but those two things right there, this and this, were full of candles, and Maria gave them all to us for $5. Yeah. And then my mom bought another candle, and now my mom's looking at candles. I didn't know she had candles. I didn't either. I saw that bin of candles there, and there was a, there was a spring green pillar candle, and I was like, I don't have this color. I have this mushroom set for my future house. It's gonna be baller. Mr. Klinger, you don't seem to understand. Mr. Jimmy Early is your man. He's the hottest act in show business. He will drive the people crazy. It's stuck in my head. Get it out. So, quick tour. Candles and cups and things for your kitchen. I know exactly where I'm going when I need matching sets of a bunch of dishware blankets and some clothes all along this wall, stuff above my head, um, pots and pans and baking tins and stuff, and a pig, yarn, more kitchen sort of knickknack, brass and tins and pots and things, and this is where I got my cauldron. That is a very tiny cauldron, like smaller than my hand cauldron, but this is where they got me mine. That is a rather large one, which I would have gotten instead of the one that I got, but that is heavy. That thing weighs a ton. I would not be able to carry that around circle, which is what I wanted to do. More and more plates and lights and stuff, mirrors. And then, one of my other favorite sections, books. I have gotten so many plays and classic novels here from her and because my mom knows her and shops here a lot she tends to give me like five or six at a time for a buck a buck fifty because she just has so many of them over on the other side of this wall over there is tools and things and then i will take you upstairs actually i apologize i never got to show you the upstairs of the around the house store because by the time we were done it was time for her to close up and she had already taken all of the stuff from outside and put it in front of the stairs so i wasn't able to take you upstairs this time but next time i go i will make sure to vlog the upstairs romulus and remus next to john f kennedy cabinet knobs everywhere silverware kitchen things.
Santa. Cow. This is the craft cupboard where the people who taught my mom's art classes in high school work. They own it. And so we go here a lot. But we don't go to any of these stores back here, but it's cute. So my mom wants me to show it to you, I guess. So the Van Cura Gallery, where they have a bunch of art, a lot of glass stuff, prints. I've been in there like once, but they kind of make you feel weird because you feel like you'll break everything if you look at it. I'll be there in a second. Okay, well that was Mr. Kalb. Mr. and Mrs. Kalb own the craft cupboard. Mrs. Kalb, I think, was my mom's art teacher and Mr. Kalb taught something else at the school. That could be incorrect, I don't remember. So the Van Cura Gallery, they make you feel like you're gonna break everything if you look at it or breathe on it. But there's this cute little, like, setup here. And then that's tiny stitches, like embroidery and quilting and stuff shop. Trains and cargo, I've never been there. This toy shop used to be a music store. I've been in there a couple of times. And then that back there says the Amish Co-op, but I have no idea what that is, nor am I going to go over there because we're going to the craft cupboard and then leaving. And then there's a little pavilion type deal, and that's it. So I wasn't gonna bring you back here because we don't go back here, we just go to the craft cupboard. But mom was like, well, it's cute, so show them. So I guess if you're, interested in the cute country-ness. I mean, there's a giant paper mache cow out front, so it's gotta be quaint, right? Here we go, Americana at its finest. Here we go. So the craft cupboard is essentially just a bunch of rooms full of all the supplies you need for various hand-making type crafts. This room is fabric, and ribbons and things back there, some really cool handmade scarves with embellishments and pins which are really easy to make all this kind of stuff i made a pin like this for katie's baby very easy stuff sheep workshop classroom type deal mom's down there looking at soaps and candles stuff woodworking stuff i feel like my mom and i have tried our hand at almost every craft that is available in this store Knitting and crocheting. I have this set of five Beanie Baby style teddy bears that are orange, green, blue, purplish blue, and brown. And I got them from here. And when I was younger, they used to have a lot more toys like that. And every time I came here, I would get a different one. And I purposely got every single color because I noticed that they were the different colors of the elements. And then brown is spirit for me because there was green for earth. So I have five bears. <laughs> And at the time I was into those power bead bracelets and I happened to have five of them that had a bead on it that said something like success or wisdom or strength or courage or something like that. And so each one of those little elemental bears has a little elemental collar bracelet. And I got those from here. They used to be right in here in a big huge bin. And now they have these. Guidance counselor. Mr. Kelb was the guidance counselor. I always forget what he did. And they worked with Mark's dad at my school. So, yeah. Small world. There are so many birds living in the signs. I mean, I so many birds. They rearranged everything in the dollar store. And now, sorry, I'm recording really close to my face so I can talk low. Because this is a tiny store. And there's less of everything that I needed. The radio would stop playing when I start recording. There we go. Welcome to Family Dollar. Do you know what the difference is between the brands you find here versus everywhere else? Nope. Have What's missing? Uh, the pony ride. Yeah. There used to be a little <laughs> horsey ride that you put a quarter in and you Wasn't ride this little horse. There, there, at one time? there was, but there was always a horse, like ever since I was little. And then later they added like a four wheeler. There used to be little rides there. The times, they are a changin'. Rude! Okay. Hey guys, this is really after the fact, uh, but I said I was going to show you everything that I got at the Around the House store, and so this is Tuesday, July 5th, even though the video that you just watched happened on Saturday, July 2nd, so I apologize. I'm doing a lot of videos today, so I figured I would 
finish this one and get it up and then work on the other videos. Um, but basically, we ended up getting those candles and then Mom and I split them. So I did indeed get the green candle that I wanted because I don't have any light green taper candles. I ended up with a whole bag of candles and then my mom got the rest of the candles, some of which were more broken, more burned down, and she's going to remelt them and use them to make her candles. And then I wanted to get a few more skeleton keys, which is where the secret comment word came from in the last video. These things are expensive. They're two for five dollars. She can't give me a deal on them for some reason. It's just like, I don't know. I have four of them for myself, but I wanted to get a couple more because I want to start making things out of them, and so I thought I should have more. So I got those two keys, and this time she happened to also have some metal keyhole frames. These two, I'm sorry, it's really hard to see. My webcam is not cooperating today, and I didn't want to use another flip cam video. And then this other metal bracket type one, so two different kinds. She only had three of them, so I doubt I'm going to make anything out of these to sell because there's only three, so I'll probably just make stuff for me to practice with, and then if I ever come across any in the future, I will make more stuff to actually sell. But when I only have a few of something and I have no idea where to get more in supply, I don't tend to sell them because more people are going to want them and then it's like, sorry, it was a one-time deal. I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Blessed be, keep talking, and whatever. I'll see you later. Bye.